Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about writing when we're distracted. This video is being recorded during lockdown three in the UK in the COVID-19 pandemic. So there are more distractions around than usual for many people who are trying to work and write while homeschooling children and perhaps dealing with their own illness or the illness of people close to them. But distractions always exist for writers and if we're not careful, we can let distractions throw us right off track. So I want to give you some tips today for things that you can do, techniques that you can use to help yourself avoid distractions when you need to write. The first thing I would suggest is to fix a place where you go to write. It might be a place in your house. It doesn't have to be a dedicated writing place. It can be a corner of the table or a particular armchair or the sofa, whatever suits for you in your home. Or in non-lockdown times, some people like to write outside of their home in coffee shops. My own particular place is really my laptop. I can write anywhere, but I'm lucky like that. I don't think everyone has that experience. Some students like to go to their university library to write. Can be anywhere, doesn't matter where it is, as long as it works for you and it is your writing place. Then I would also suggest that you plan a brief pre-writing ritual. It might be something as simple as making a particular drink that you like to have with you while you write. I know that one of my colleagues particularly likes green tea for writing times. It might be just setting up your writing place in a particular way to make sure that you've got your device that you write on or your paper and pens that you like to write with. And if you can, get a routine going so that you write at the same time of day or the same time of the week. Not everyone is able to do this. If you have small children, it may be particularly difficult or if you're a shift worker, that can be tricky too. But if you are able, to create some kind of a writing routine for yourself that will help you to write all of these things, the writing place, the pre-writing short, pre-writing ritual, the routine, all help to tell yourself that writing is what you're now about to do. Then use either sound or silence in the way that helps you most. Some people can only write to music, some people can only write to silence. Silence can be difficult to achieve at times, but noise cancelling headphones or earplugs can be a big help. When it comes to sound, some people like to make um, playlists for particular longer pieces of writing they're working on, or just go with what's on the radio, or have a favourite CD perhaps that they play over and over again whenever they write because it works well for them. Figure out what works for you and do that. Then you need to set goals for yourself, for your writing. This may be time goals that you're going to write for half an hour, five times a week perhaps, or word count goals that you're going to write 250 words a day or 500 words three times a week, whatever it is. Some people work better with word count goals and some work better with time goals. I'm better with word counts. If I set myself to write 500 words, I will do that more quickly than if I set myself to write for half an hour um, when I may mess around and just not really get much done. But other people find it's the other way around. So figure out what works for you and then set yourself goals and break down your writing jobs into small chunks of work to do because that makes life easier too. So whether it's um, first draft writing, then you might break that down into little 200 word chunks or 100 word chunks and call each of those an achievement. Or if it's an editing job where you're working on a second or a third draft, you might say, um, add more to section two because it's not got enough content. Um, check the spelling in section three. Make, this, make yourself a little list of these small chunks of work to do and that helps you to tackle your tasks. If you're really struggling, then renegotiate deadlines. Um, but if this becomes a habit, then something's not going right. So save that for a last resort, do it only if necessary. While you're writing, to avoid distraction, turn off as much as you can of your phone, your internet connection, your emails pinging in, whatever the distractions are, close your door, put a notice on the door if you can saying, don't come in till whenever cause I'm writing. Um, keep the distractions absolutely to a minimum. Don't just go in the middle to check your social media because that will just be a huge distraction. Stick to writing don't do anything else. 
Writing or not writing, Raymond Chandler called it the nothing alternative. Think about whether you can make use of virtual shut up and write sessions or groups or virtual writing retreats. Or if we're out of the pandemic by the time you view this, actual shut up and write sessions in groups or actual writing retreats. These can be very helpful for being productive, particularly for many people for first draft work where you just need to get the words out. If you're struggling to get going with a session or you get stuck in a writing session, free writing can be very helpful where you set yourself a prompt, an active prompt using I. So I want to say can be a good one or what I want to do with this chapter is or why I'm stuck is all these sorts of things can be useful. And the thing you do with free writing is set a timer for maybe five minutes and just write the prompt and just write wherever it takes you. Don't censor yourself, keep writing. If you get stuck with the free writing, write the prompt again, and if necessary, again and again and again till it takes you off somewhere else. Don't worry about the quality at all. Don't worry about the spelling. Don't worry about the grammar. Just write and write and write and write. And that is quite a useful warm up exercise. It gets your writing muscle going. And you may find that in the content of what you've produced, there are one or two little nuggets or something that surprises you that moves you forward with your whole project. It's not a given, but it does happen more often than not. So overall, I would say, particularly if things are tough, if you're having a tough time right now, be gentle with yourself. Lower your goals. If you usually do 500 words a day, but you're finding that tough, lower it to 250. You're still producing work. It's still worth doing. Every sentence is a sentence that you didn't have before. And practice self-care, not at the expense of your writing, because that's not self-care, really. If you've got writing you need to get done, you need to do the writing. But take care of yourself. Know yourself and know when you need to stop, when you need to call a halt to the writing for that session, for that day, or when you need to really take a break for a week or two. All of these tips and techniques will help you to keep going when you're distracted and to take care of yourself so that you can produce the writing that you need to produce.